For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz. BC women's basketball team opened up league play this past weekend, lost Minnesota Crookston, joined by last week's Beaver Pride Female Athlete of the Week, Tatum Sheely. Congratulations on the honor. Thank you very much. We'll talk about the good before we talk about uh, the, the Crookston All game. All right, sounds good. Uh, you guys finished up the uh, non-conference season. What did you guys learn from that uh, about yourselves? Um, well, I think we're just still getting kind of used to the new um, rotations we have. We had a lot of seniors graduate last year that played a lot of minutes, so we have some new combinations out there that uh, haven't been playing together for very long. So we just kind of are still getting used to the feel of everyone. And uh, it was it was a good um, preseason before the actual real season because we learned a lot about our team, so that was good. You uh, had 18 points a game uh, leading up to the – to the conference opener last week were you just kind of feeling it offensively um yeah i mean i think there's weeks and games where you're you're shooting well and uh i've been fortunate enough to start off the season shooting pretty well so that's always good but it's not always going to happen that way so it's it's good to have teammates that have your back and they find you when you're open and uh we'll be finding whoever's open and whoever hitting them we'll get we'll get their shots up so one of those nights where it wasn't falling was uh, against mm-hmm. Crookston. Yep. Um, one for 16 from behind the three-point line is never yeah. a good night. Nope. <laughs> was it a case where the entire team was just, all right, they have to start falling, they have to quit going in and out, so we just they are going to keep on shooting? Yeah, I, we just weren't feeling it at all. We only made one, and uh, it was it was a rough shooting night, but I don't know. We we just didn't play very well at Crookston, and I um, – like I said, we're still learning, and we're a really young team. So I don't. I mean, I'm not not making an excuse, but it's it's a it's definitely a learning experience. And I think this week we'll put what we or do a lot what we didn't do very well in the Crooks game, and try to put it forth to the next weekend. How different uh, were your games non conference to conference? Oh yeah, conference is a whole different different picture. They uh, they scout you. They they know everything about you. They know more about you than you probably know of yourself. So it's it's a lot different. And I mean, it's it's a nice challenge. It's fun, and uh, I enjoy it. But yeah, it's definitely a lot harder than um, non conference. It's obviously different uh, when you're only playing the one conference game a week. Uh, mm-hmm. Now you'll be playing multiple games Friday, Saturday, back to back. How much of a challenge is that? Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of basketball, but. Uh, I don't know. I like the whole format of the Friday Saturday. It makes the um, week go pretty fast, so that's good. And I don't know. It, it is a lot, but at the same time, I'm a sophomore now, so I'm kind of used to it. So I'm I know what's ahead. Is your role changed at all from last year to this year? Yeah, I, I'm uh, definitely more of a leader type of role. I mean, we had those seniors last year, so I definitely took the back seat more last year, and hopefully this year I'll take more of a leader role. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you very much.